We are finally getting the spoilers for Lord of the Rings, and this is going to be a modern adjacent set. So these cards are not going to be played in standard. We only had a few cards drop today, but some of them are pretty interesting. We're going to take a look at them right now. Welcome back, Matt Caster Major. If you do enjoy my videos, please remember to like and leave a comment. Let me know actually what your favorite card was from today's spoiler drop. We only got a handful of them, but to be honest, some of them are pretty interesting and we even got the ring spoiled as well. So here's an overview of the cards here. I do like that we are getting the full art lands in a more unique way. We're actually seeing the iconic Lord of the Rings map of Middle Earth as a part of these lands and you get like Mirkwood where the elves are with the forest which is obviously very fitting for elves. We have plains so that's gonna be like the Shire so hobbits are gonna be I, I believe from the uh, white mono color kind of plains section of the game which is interesting. I thought maybe they could have been green or maybe Selesnya maybe there is gonna be a little bit of kind of intertwining between both maybe some color combinations and then we have the island here by the sea that obviously makes sense you need an island you need a sea for the island and the swamp one obviously to no one's surprise we are we are getting mordor there as well including mount doom which you can see on the land as well there that is really really cool and it looks like the humans are going to be run by mountain so mountain is the red color symbol here and it looks like you have rohan and gondor which are obviously the two capitals for the humans in the books as well so really cool i do think these are very nice full art lands now i've been a massive critic of, of full art lands for the past maybe few years just because it feels like they're overdoing it, it feels like it's not very special anymore it used to be something that people actually cared about like when they had it in the unsets and then more recent than that would be the Zendikar sets. The first Full Art Lands that we got that wasn't an unset was actually the original Zendikar and then Battle for Zendikar and then it felt like it was every few sets and now it's like every set gets their own special version of a Full Art Land but I think this one is very fitting and I actually do enjoy the artwork. I really like that they're incorporating the map as part of these lands so I think I give it a A plus but let me know what you think about these lands down below in the comment section. Now I wanted to show you guys the two cards that were spoiled today. Now here is the first, it's Gandalf the Grey. Now Gandalf the Grey is a wizard so I guess the is it colors are very fitting because if you think about Wizards and Magic the Gathering you don't really think of uh, green, right? You don't really think of black too much. You probably think maybe some red, maybe some blue so is it is a very fitting multicolor card for this. Now I like the set symbol there, so this is a legendary creature avatar wizard. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, choose one that hasn't been chosen. You may tap or untap target permanent, or Gandalf the Grey deals 3 damage to each opponent, and copy target instant or sorcery spell you control, you may choose new targets for the copy, and then put Gandalf on top of its owner's library. So quite versatile for a legendary creature. It almost feels more like a planeswalker with the amount of abilities that you actually have on this card. So it's very versatile. I think it's going to be a great card. Maybe not so much in modern. It's possible. I mean, for five mana, you're going to have to cheat it out. Modern is a very quick format, but I can easily see this being a commander and maybe even a commander staple for is it colors. Let me know what you think about that down below in the comment section. Here's the main one that dropped. It is the one ring here. It's a legendary artifact for four mana, so it's indestructible. And when the one ring enters a battlefield, if you cast it, you gain protection from everything until end of turn. That is huge, especially in a multicolor commander game. And it says at the beginning of your upkeep, you lose one life for each bird encounter on the one ring, which makes sense because you know, the longer you wear the ring, the more sick you become, the more like you become like really devoted to the ring and it starts to kind of control you. So that actually does make sense. I do like that as like a flavor aspect of this card. And then you can tap it, you put a bird encounter on the one ring, then draw a card for each bird encounter on the one ring. So Obviously, this is going to be busted in Commander, but I'm actually thinking maybe even Tron? Tron could possibly get this out pretty quick, and then, you know, you're drawing cards, and that's something that you really need with Tron and Modern. You don't, you don't really have a lot of card draw ability with that. So this can be pretty broken, because it obviously can get out on Battlefield really quick. I think this can potentially see some Modern play, not just 
obviously Commander play, which I think this is obviously a no-brainer in Commander. Let me know if you'd play this in the Commander format as well. Let me know if you think this is going to be played in the modern format, especially Tron decks. Let me know all of those things down below in the comment section. With that being said, guys, hope you enjoyed today's spoilers, and I'll see you in the next video. Use code NATCASTER for 5% off your order from Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store. Qualified orders get free shipping Canada wide. Use our code anytime you shop at Face to Face Games to support the show and get the cards you need at a discount.